Hello YouTube, this is Johnny. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to fasten your laptop. In our case, we are using a HP, and this is a HP Pavilion, which has Windows embedded and has 4GB RAM. And the processor is good, though it's lagging sometimes. So what we are going to do, we are going to do a few things. First of all, we are going to click the Windows key and search for the, the run so when you get run you're going to type this word temp so after typing temp like that then you have to click ok so these are temporary files that have been kept in your computer and you don't need them so i'm going to select these temporary files and try to see their properties how the, they weigh on this computer so on this computer, we're having 26 GBs of temporary files, and we don't need these temporary files. So in your case, you have to check on your computer if you have them. So I'm going to show you. So this is going to help us on creating some more space on the computer. So right now here, we are sitting on, we are having our disk C. So let me check the properties of disk C. So disk C has free space, used space of 75 and free space of 120, 172 GB. So I'm going to click control. I'm going to click shift delete so that these files don't go to the recycle bin. I'm going to select all of them. So by selecting, you just click either if you want to select them like this, it can work, but you can just click on Ctrl A, it will select all of it. So you want us to see when we delete and we get more space this side. So after selecting, I'm going to click Shift Delete, and this is going to delete them without going to the recycle to the recycle bin. So are you sure I want to delete permanently? yes so after deleting so right now we're having the software running the one i'm using for screen recording can skip that then if you go back here and try to refresh you're going to see that from 172 gb we have created more space here so this helps also on the making the PC run so fast. The other thing that we do, we are going to go back to Windows key and R to get the run. Have this that I call it prefetch. So when you type in that, you have to click and say continue. And it also has some files here, but these ones normally they are very small. You also don't need them, they're like 30 MBs. You can delete them. Control Shift Delete, use Shift Delete. Then, after that, the next step is very simple. You have to go and, and go to you right click and go to properties then say clean up the disk so when you clean up the disk this is what happens so also go and check the recycle bin to check the temporary files but in our case we have finished deleting them manually but it's better to do it so here we are having the web files we're having this this and whenever you delete out these things nothing will happen these are just temporary files that you don't need like here you have it has thumbnails you see now we are going to save 464 mbs so here you click okay then say delete files this won't affect anything like the system the system files this is just these are just debris files that nothing will happen to your computer so the next thing to make your computer run fast so I don't expect this to have anything there. There's nothing. Then, after that, 
you have to go to this other step. How many steps are we going? We have seen the using the temp that is one, then also prefetch that is two, then also deleting files using this cleanup that is th three. Then we have another one that will help you if you go to tools, you go to optimize. So when you click optimize, and as you can see here, we have 0% fragmented files. And also here, you have to click on analyze on both the partitions. We have partition C and D. Then you have fragmented files on our CIF drive. Then you just go and say optimize. So this will help the, the pressing of the files on the hard disk whereby it doesn't spin every side like this. The disk, whenever it wants to look for a file, doesn't go. This will make files become closer to each other, the files which are almost related. So this is how you do the steps for making your PC run fast. So I'm going to cancel this. But you do the same, you make sure it finishes to run. I'm going to minimize this. Now our computer is now in good shape. It is now working very fast. Even if I refresh now, let me try to open a file here. Let me open Photoshop. So here, even if we are on the browser part, so I just installed the Photoshop there, so that's why it is taking long. But navigation, everything is so fast. As you can see, other folders are empty. Corel, it's very fast. So thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, share this video that can reach more people. And if you find this video helpful, please comment so that I can know that someone has seen my video. So thanks for watching. This is John I'm logging out. Thanks for watching. This is how you can make your computer run so fast.